What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel RJ Car Review. Hope you guys are staying healthy, staying safe. I know I am. I'm your boy Ricky. Just got off of work. Um, so, like the title says, man, I'm going to swap out my Eibach Pro Kit Springs for uh, Ford Performance Springs. So a lot of you guys might be wondering why am I um, doing this. So the reason why I'm swapping out the Eibach uh, Pro Kit Springs for the Ford Performance. For the last two months, um, I've noticed the car has been real twitchy, kind of jumpy, kind of almost kind of is this a choppy ride? You know, living in New York, man, and having a car that low and I'm not able to tune the magnetic ride um, suspension, it's, it's, it's kind of difficult. I know they make a unit for it um, so you could tune it, but I've done my research and I've um, spoken to a few people who have tried it in their car and they said that it's horrible. Um, it's pretty much trash. So I wasn't trying to dish out, I think it's like 13 to $1,500 for the unit um, and waste my money. So. You know there goes that plan so the next best thing that i thought of was to swap out the springs for um something that is um more track worthy and also um, comfortable on the road not that the ibox are not comfortable you know on smooth roads the car is amazing you know um on roads that have you know slight bumps you feel it but it's not harsh it doesn't hit the bumps hard it actually you know um it actually uh, absorbs the bump the bumps pretty well but certain bumps the car kind of hops over versus just you know driving smoothly over and i noticed that the car does a lot of this when it's going over bumps it's a lot it's it's pretty much it's kind of shaky um and it feels like the car is all over the road what made me come to this decision also was I was driving with my wife one day and she noticed and I didn't say anything to her. You know, I wanted to see if she noticed it without me saying something to her. And I usually say it to my wife, you know, if we take a ride, like, how does a car feel? Because I know it's low. How does a car feel? And she, before, you know, she say, oh, no, it feels great. Um, but this time we went out and I was going around a corner, driving through, through some bump. I was driving over some bumpy roads and she said to me, she was like, damn, babe, what's up with the car? It feels like it's all over the place. And that's what it feels like. It feels like, you know, when I'm hitting bumps, it's like this, the car is just, and I, you know what? I don't know what it is, man. Like I really love the look, um, those springs give the car It's a perfect drop to, in my opinion, I don't rub, I don't scrape. I don't do any, any of that stuff. Um, and you know, if it's on smooth roads, the car rides extremely well and it handles okay. Does it handle better, better than stock? No, it doesn't. Um, the stock springs are stiffer springs, front and rear. These are much softer springs. So this brings me to my second reasoning why I'm planning to swap it out. Um, I do plan on tracking the car and I know once I track the car, do a road race, I'm gonna love doing road racing because it seems like it, it's a fun thing to do. And also when I'm driving a car on the street and I'm going around turns, the car just, it just feels like a fun car and it feels like that's what it wants to do. You know, when I'm driving, I'm pushing around corners. It's like, it's just so much fun. That linear power, uh, power band, it feels great. And I know I need a stiffer spring for the track. The Ford Performance delivers both. It's great on the track, and also is great on the road. The height now, the drop. Honestly, I don't care for the look of the drop. You know, I love the way my car look now. I love the stance that it has, um, but it's not giving me the ride quality and also it's not gonna give me the performance that I need um, when I'm on the track. So. You know, I gotta do the right thing. You know, I'm gonna, I'm thinking about swapping them out. I already purchased the, the springs. Head into the track, 
going to see how these springs um, work on the track. Obviously, it's still going to have to come off more than likely. I do plan on adding a couple more um, upgrades to the suspension uh, before I take out the, um, the Ibon Pro Kit springs. So that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you think, man. If you got a Shelby, you know, if you have, if you're running iBox, if you're running um, Ford Performance, and if you, if you are running the Ford Performance Springs, please, if you could just take a picture of your car and, you know, DM me or whatever on Instagram, RJ Car Review, just send me a pic. I'd love to see how it look because I've been looking at pictures online and I really can't tell, you know, I know the drop is not that low. I think it's a 20 millimeter or 30 millimeter all the way around, um, but I really can't tell. I saw like maybe one clear picture and it it didn't look good to me but a lot of a lot of a lot of the other pictures I've seen they were those cars had rims on it you know a taller tire so you couldn't really justify you couldn't tell what it really looked like on a stock setup so oh that's a that's a nice M3 oof car look nice man I love beams Damn, that thing look nice. That drop, you see the stance? Ah, stance looks so sick, man. Damn, that shit look nice. I should have turned the thing around. That M3 was nice, look real nice. Um, yeah, man. So if you guys have a picture, you know, if you guys could send me a picture, let me know. All right, RJ Car Review. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Hit that like button and i'll see you guys in the next video man peace